So we're going to try out um, Zerk's Alaskan Trek. Because we tried out his uh, African Safari previously. But um, yeah, this one's got potential. Um, let's pull it up. I'm kind of wishing I read the African, uh, did the African Safari program earlier because I was actually reading through. Um, uh, my dad got me under a writer called Wilbur Smith, who did all these sweet adventure books about Africa, and um, yeah, I just started reading through them again, and they've been they've been pretty good. Um, yeah, we will be sandals. Very. Um, this is very uh, like Macintosh style kind of buttons and fonts, isn't it? Maybe this was on Mac first. All right, yeah, yeah, fill up. Wait, are you, you're only really putting this much fuel in your plane, mate? You're probably gonna need a bit more than that. Like, what was it, car take, 50 liters? You probably need a couple hundred at least, mate. You're gonna, he, he's taking his sweet time. He's gonna make sure that fuel's filled up. You're gonna, you're gonna do the other pre-flight checks or anything? No, we're just going straight to Alaska. And he's probably, yeah, at least he's covered up. He's got his hood on. He wouldn't be freezing his ass off, you know, flying around otherwise. Um, so I guess we're just going to Alaska. Ah. Yeah, this is... Oh, it's... Is it summer in Alaska? Okay. Um, oh, you can learn about hoods. Some parkers are made from animal skins, such as caribou. The fur collar is often made from muskox hair because it is a very good insulator. Yeah, right. I can print stuff out. Okay. So we're going to learn about some uh, Inuits and the like as well, are we? Oh, there's a, that looks like an actual Mac, surely. I'm concerned how that plane took off without wheels. It was on asphalt. It also had skis on it, I noticed too, so you can land in the snow. But yeah, the, the, usually brakes don't work if you're on skis. Yeah. Um... So what are we doing? We're doing a story of some sort. Um, well, let's put a Zerk in here, I guess. What's that Zerk doing? Um, he's going to get eaten by a bear. No, turn around, bear. And can we move Zerk? He's being chased by a bear. That's what we're going to do. Um, the bear, bear threatens. What threatens? And, and the Zerk. Um, Sit. <laughs> He's sit sitting down and accepting death. <laughs> okay, okay. Um, no, I don't save it. So you can just do... All right, all right. Oh, that's the, literally all we get, though. Can we do... Um, can we just have... Like, okay, there's a lemming. Maybe it's like a... We're showing off the cycles of... Um, of <laughs> <laughs> the cycles of the food chain. Oh yeah, this is definitely 90s, mate. Pretty much everything in the... Yeah, I, I be don't believe they did any programs for Windows 3.1 past, you know, like 98, 99. Because we had like, you know, Windows 98, Windows 2000 by then. Oh, we've run out of... Um, we've run out of animals that we can put in. But this is apparently the food chain of Alaska. Learning? Oh, you mean the little... Oh, Lemming, give me the little blokes that yeet off a cliff. Apparently, that is a complete and utter lie. Um, apparently, Disney made that up. They did some nature documentary in the 30s and 40s where they just said, yeah, Lemmings they eat themselves off cliffs. They they do not. They are, as, as, yeah, as much as the games want to lead you to believe that. You know, God, I haven't played a bloody Lemmings game for a while. But this is how they sound when they go off cliffs. Yeet! <laughs> uh good on you sam um all these news i never knew any better yeah you sort of they, they they i've learned that reading 1984 like they they do like to kind of obfuscate history just so people don't learn from it all right let's let's do this story though um the lemming lemming nibbles nibbles and period Oh, the lemming nibbles. Fox. Oh, we can do some um, different ones. Okay. Walks two, runs two, walks away, walks, walks two. two, zerk. Oh, you can actually hole, send it to hole. Walks to the hole. Yeah, you just give them little instructions and they go and do Moose. stuff. Okay. Walks two, threatens and zerk, hops 
two somersaults. <laughs> the Zerks, uh, the moose is attacking, and the Zerks fucking Fox yeeted himself out of the way. Away, sits, barks, and lemming runs to willow cow parsnip moose. Yeah, all right, all right. Um, does that all work? Like, can we just get them to read the whole story out, or are we stuck? I think we might be stuck. Oh, no, no, there we go. Huh. Okay. And... Oh, comparisons? Good, good game for learning verbs, you reckon. Oh, we can put in our own notes, too. Okay. Yeah, yeah, good way to... It's almost like, um, like a basic programming language, too, because you're just saying, get this object to do this at this time. Yeah, a bit of that. Oh, and we just go... Oh, we're just going all over the shop. Okay, okay. Yeah, I vaguely remember, like, this certain areas go to certain places. Oh, it's just playing the story we did before. Okay, okay. No, we want to we wanna go back, though. That's... Yeah, I forgot Zerk was the knockoff. Oh! Um... <laughs> There's a lot of algae turning up in the, uh, the Arctic, apparently. Yeah, fair enough. Um, never work out what the hell you're meant to be like clicking on in these games. Yeah, we're definitely on acid now. Holy shit! Oh yeah, we can learn um, learn about weighing stuff. <laughs> the hell did I just witness? Um, acid trip and the. I mean, like if you're gonna like go out to the fucking you know boring ass you know Arctic wilderness, you might as well bring some LSD and shit. Um. Okay. Oh, we can get questions. The weight of one grizzly bear is blank. Um, it's probably not a pound. It's probably not a duck. Now, hang on. Let's let's just fiddle around with these. Um, Charmagen is. Oh, we can slide the drawer out and actually put weights on it. Okay. Let's um. Yeah, let's try that. A duck is definitely um, less than ten kilos. Yes, this is this is a fair a fair assessment. Um, now, do we have a witch? Do we have? Can we do the thing from um, Monty Monty Python and the Holy Grail, where logically they determined if a woman weighs the same as a duck, she's made of wood, therefore floats, and is therefore a witch. Um, doesn't look like we can do that though. Maybe Zerk. If Zerk weighs the same as a duck. Ah, doesn't weigh the same as a duck. Okay. That's unfortunate. Hmm. All right, so we can learn stuff about how, what things weigh. We can weigh a walrus. All right. Um, let's see how a walrus stacks up against... Does, it, does Zerk weigh more than a walrus? It does not. Who potentially can weigh more than a walrus? Perhaps a caribou. No. Nope. Walrus is still bigger. Grizzly bear? Oh, grizzly bear is slightly heavier than a, than a walrus. Okay. We can do more than one. How about two wolves and uh, three wolves? Okay. Three wolves. Four wolves. That is one fucking heavy walrus. That's for damn sure. It, it's almost like we've got the, the beginnings of... Um, what are those like battle simulators where you send like one gorilla against like a thousand chickens to see who wins? I, I forgot the name of those games. Um, but I, I think that's what we're working towards. Oh, we can't, we can only put stuff of the same type. Okay, okay. I just, I, I was curious to like start my own cartoon show of the walrus and the weasel. Yeah, one million lines versus, you know, Chuck Norris or something like that. Yeah, I vaguely remember seeing those around. Oh, we've come to here. No, we don't want to go there. So we can actually, like, put out... We can write notes about what we've learned, I guess. What was in this book? Oh, this is just Alaskan stuff. Okay, we might... Yeah, let's let's see if we can learn anything about lemmings. Yep. Um, lemming, enemies, everything. 
Tiny fairy rodents that can weigh as little as 3 grams when they're born and up to an average of 78 when fully grown. Their living habitats are difficult to track because they scurry around day and night in tunnels that are only a couple of inches beneath the ground. During the height of the summer breeding season, nearly all the females are pregnant. Lemmings reproduce so abundantly that almost every predator in the tundra can get their fill, and there are still plenty left. But even those that escape their predator only live about one year. Oh, okay. <laughs> the Arctic loon. Oh yeah, lynxes. Yeah, I love lynxes. Lynxes are cute. I'd even... No, that's useful too. You even get like a visual representation, representation of their um, tracks. Yeah, very short life. Um, yeah, porcupine. But they have porcupines in Alaska. Yeah, that, that makes sense actually. Um, Tarmogen. Puffins. Ravens. Red foxes. Oh, river otters. Yeah. Yeah, I like otters too. Otters are cute. Chinook salmon. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. Ringed seal. Goose. Yeah. All right. Lots of lots of fun things to learn about animals. Um. Oh, and this goes back to the cabin. And this goes. Okay. So this is what the American girl and this is the Inuit boy just hanging out in the sticks. Yeah. Here it is. I am an Inuit. I'm, often we are called Eskimos. That smoke. Oh, <laughs> you're getting anchoring for smoked salmon. I actually had a um, breakfast burrito because I went to a place a couple of suburbs over. Um, we have this Mexican chain called um, Cusmani Gomez, which is um, top tier, like very fresh ingredients. You know how you eat something and you have like the memory of it lingering on? Like that that's a sign of a good meal. And I had that with this burrito. It was like, was it scrambled eggs, cheese, chorizo, bit of tomato and beans sprinkled in, and two hash browns all, all wrapped up in a burrito. It was nice. Um, yeah, spending the summer at fish camp, smoke houses. Um, oh, one of my favorite games is blanket toss, especially when I'm the one being tossed in the evening. Oh, blanket toss is in like the hippie thing where you get the blanket and flick the kid up in the blanket. Mm. Yeah, no, there's it's very, very good food at Guzmani Gomez. Um, gathering berries from the tundra. Ooh, sometimes people crush the berries and mix them with mashed potato, sugar, and lard to make a very high energy dessert called akutak. Very sweet and juicy. Oh, and you freeze them. Oh, of course you freeze them. It's fucking Alaska. Everything's frozen. Yeah. What else we got? We have a portfolio. Oh, okay, that's where we're taking our notes, righto. Um, we can learn about some plants. Ooh, cranberries. Yeah, cow parsnip. Oh, is that what that stuff? Yeah, I, I actually see, like, a flower similar to this growing out, like, on the roadsides. I, I guess that's like a wild parsnip of some sort. I haven't actually tested to say, like, I haven't actually, like, stopped the car, gotten out and pulled it up to see what it is but yeah i've been like it's summer here so i've been in a gardening mood been um trying um trying zucchini this year cucumbers have been good and lots of spinach always gotta do the spinach yep so we can learn about plants what else can we learn about oh we can do more stories if we're so inclined that was the thing like there was a fair bit to these games but there wasn't a whole hell of a lot we gotta watch the yeah, we gotta watch the epic fight between Zerk and the Moose again. Okay. Now go back. Alright, so that was the story. Some way stuff. We go. Oh, we can fly to places. I like to make a sandwich of smoked salmon, cream Ice cheese on a bagel. Electric. Yeah, that'd be nice actually. Smoked salmon and cream cheese. That wouldn't be bad at all. Oh, and you get a very quick two second video showing off. Eskimo stuff. Inuit stuff, I should say. Yep, that is that is a very short video. Yeah, do some fishing, sure. Blanket toss in Nome. Oh, that that'd make it a hell of a lot harder if you're fucking, you know, standing up. Yeah, yeah, that could be fun. There you go. Dog sled race in Iditarod. Yeah, sled racing can be fun. I used to see them around. Like, I, surprisingly, I, I, being in Australia, 
Um, I think when I think Eskimos, I remember the cat in the hat. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. No, we have um snowfields in Victoria that we've been to a few times, and yeah, they apparently do. Yeah, I vaguely remember that. Yeah, my granddad had like a chalet that we stayed in, and you'd see like the dog sleds go past and yeah it was a cool little place um where we skied is actually where they filmed um an old jackie chan movie in the 90s i think it was first strike it was a good little spot grizzly bear grizzly bear certainly grizzly he's a grizzled the bear oh yeah yeah see he's got the right idea he's he's gone in gotten himself some salmon don't know where he's going to get a bagel from, but you know. Puffins and sea otters in Cook's Inlet. Oh, ah, yeah. I assume you guys only had tropical weather. No, you'd be surprised. Um, so, like, it's summer here, but it can potentially get cold because we're that close to Antarctica. We actually get a lot of wind from there, which can potentially, like, drop the temperature like a stone. Um, so, case in point, it's 37 today and it's it's going to drop down to about um sorry uh it's going to dry it's 37 degrees celsius today which is about 95 100 fahrenheit um tomorrow is meant to be oh yeah it's going to drop down to like 16 because we got a thunderstorm but yeah no up um, when you like there's certain mountainy areas in like um new south wales and victoria that do cop um a little bit of snow not a huge amount but yeah just enough so you can they do have like a, a skiing thing bald eagles eh okay certainly is a bald ice eagle breaking ice field hmm yeah it's a nice change like yeah that's what i found with victoria in particular like it's you do get a couple hot days but most of the weather is normally Golden pretty pleasant in sitka item pulse you say okay yeah um oh there's is that meant to be a missionary of some sort yes yeah, so i will all convert you to catholicism yeah it's like a crucifix and like a rifle on there all right no that's that was that was an interesting track but i think we might leave that there i'm watching death sandals video by the way that's that's who the the person is so if you want to watch a full playthrough death death sandals 